Hello. Welcome to my April wrap up. All the books I read in April. <laughs> so, the first book I read in April was Marsha Skyler by Grace Livingston Hill. This is about two sisters. One is getting married, but she runs away instead. And the remaining sister marries the guy. Will they live happily ever after? And uh, this was like a sweet and easy read. Book number two was Existence by Abby Glantz. It's about a girl who can see the souls of the dead. And one of them she meets turns out to be death. And romance ensues. And I thought this was like a fun, cheesy fantasy read. And there are two sequels which I um, plan to read as well. Book number three was Mates, Dates, and Inflatable Bras by Kathy Hopkins. This is about a girl dealing with changes. Her best friend is hanging out with someone new. And the guy she likes won't notice her. Oh no! I thought it was a fun and silly fast read. And this is also a series, but I think the one was enough. Book number four was Tartuffe by Molière. This was a play about a man scamming his family for money. Or actually not his family, just his family he meets. They're strangers at first. Will he get caught though? And I thought this was kind of hard to get through. It was like quite dense and um, not as humorous as I thought it would be. Book number five was 882 and a half amazing answers to your questions about the Titanic by Hugh Booster and Laurie Coulter. Um, this was a non-fiction book about the shipwreck, Titanic, <laughs> and I thought it had like a fun layout, um, and it was informative, of, of course. It has like pictures, and it was um, just a fun read. Like they like they ask a question, and then they answer it for you. And also, I made an ASMR video featuring this book, so if you're interested in that, I will link it below. Book number six was My Man Jeeves by P.G. Roadhouse. This is about a rich guy and his butler and the shenanigans they get up to. I thought it was really funny and witty. And I read this because I watched a TV show, um, Jeeves and Worcester, um, which has Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie in it. And I loved it. Um, I think that the TV show and the book are just like as good as one another. And this is a series that I do want to continue because it gives me a lot of laughs. Book number seven was Forever in Blue by Anne Brashares. This is about four best friends dealing with the first year of college, friendship, romance, etc. Um, this was book four, so I have two more books left in the series. And um, as with the other Sisterhood Pants books, I thought it was cozy and heartwarming. Book number eight was Illusions by April Ling Pike. Um, this is about a girl who discovers she's a fairy after living in the human world all her life. And she's fighting the bad guys, plus romance ensues. Um, this is book three, so I have one more to go. And I thought it was like a very fun fairy fantasy. And book number nine was Emma by Jane Austen. Um, this is about a girl who fancies herself a matchmaker, and she goes around interfering in other people's lives. Um, this did take me like many, many months to finish. Like I don't, I think I might have started this in, like February. Um, I don't know why it took me so long. But I guess it's because it's like, it's quite long and dense and like every word that Jane Austen uses has to be 10 letters long. Um, but I am glad I read it. And now I can go move on to Persuasion. <laughs> so those were the n nine <laughs> books that I read in April. Let me know what you read in April and I will see you next month.